Hello, this is Kim Klinkenbrumer, Qualified Google Advertising Professional, with a lesson on how to use the Google AdWords Keyword Tool to identify and add negative keywords to your AdWords account. Negative keywords are keywords that will prevent your ads from receiving impressions for search queries that are not relevant to your products or service. So, let's get started. Our keyword tool is located underneath the Opportunities tab. I'm going to go ahead and click that. We're looking for our Tools menu because we're going to go ahead and use our Keyword Tool. Once this page loads, you'll be able to find your Tools menu on the left-hand side of your page. And we're going to go ahead and select the Keywords Tool. And once this tool gets loaded, we can start. Okay, the AdWords Keyword Tool, again, is, is for identifying keywords. You can use this to find keywords to add to your account that are going to generate impressions and clicks and also negative keywords. So for the purposes of this demo, say that we're a party planner and we would like to take a proactive approach to identifying negative keywords that may cause impressions and traffic for our account versus using the search query report which is another great way to identify negatives. I suggest everyone does investigate the search query performance report but again with the search query report you are now identifying negatives that have resulted in traffic versus taking this proactive approach to prevent that traffic ever from coming into the account. Knowing is good, but knowing it before it's too late is also better. So we're going to go ahead and search some uh, information on Party Planner. Let's see what Google will suggest for keywords. Now, Google has returned results for keyword suggestions to add to our account, but we would like to actually see negative keyword suggestions. So we're going to change this over to negative here in the match type. Now, as you can see, Google has returned quite a few suggestions for negative keywords that are all located here. And you'll notice the negative keywords have a, a negative symbol or dash in front of them, indicating that they are negative keywords. Now, many of these keywords I would suggest not be added because if you are a corporate party planner, you're not going to want to add the word corporate as a negative because it's going to prevent, again, your, your ads from appearing or receiving those impressions. So let's go ahead and analyze our, our list here. Um, checklist. That's an interesting keyword suggestion. Um, perhaps there are other party planners that are looking for ideas for their business or perhaps a checklist that they can kind of scrape off of your website uh, to use for their own. So we may want to consider adding checklist as a negative, but for the purpose of this demo, let's just continue looking and see if we can identify any other search uh, or any other negatives that could be added. Here's a perfect example, jobs. Now, if you are not hiring at your party planning business, then you will want to consider adding jobs as a negative keyword. However, this is a perfect example of needing to really think about this negative keyword before we add it. You may appear for searches that for people that are looking for a corporate party planning job for their chief executive officer. Now, that would be a great search query for your business to, result, to appear in. However, if you add jobs as a negative keyword, just as it's shown here in this keyword tool, you're going to prevent your ads from showing. So we need to consider what type of negative that we're going to add. And you can add negatives in different match types, just as you can with regular keywords. So for the keyword jobs as a negative, I would suggest adding it as an exact match keyword. You're going to cover strictly party planning job, party planner jobs for people that are actually looking for employment versus any kind of party planning job. Again, you may want to show up on some of those keywords that are job related. Let's go back and analyze some of these keywords some more. And here's career. Here's another great example of a keyword that we can add. Now, I'm thinking about the type of negative, whether it's going to be a, a broad phrase or exact match keyword. I think we would be safe with just adding this keyword career as a broad match keyword. I don't think that we're going to prevent ourselves from appearing on any good search queries by adding career whereas jobs was a little bit different. So we can go ahead and add this negative career and not really concern ourselves with the match type as much, in my opinion at least. And let's continue on here and see if we can identify any other search queries that may be a problem for us in the future. These look pretty good. 
Okay, so I can say I think we'll be done here for today for the purposes of our demo and that we have we found a couple good keywords to add to our account. Now, there's no problem with coming back here in the future and, and, and adding other keywords that are related to your business. We use party planner. Maybe we should put in corporate parties, some other types of keywords so we can generate more ideas um, and have Google share more ideas about negative keywords with us to add to our account. Now, we can go ahead and save these to our ad groups and our campaigns by selecting the campaign and then turn the ad group that you would like to add these keywords to. We'll go ahead and save this when you're done. And now we have just added negative keywords to our AdWords account. So the keyword tool again is a great place to go and find negative keywords. This is a proactive method of adding keywords to your account versus the search query report where you actually have had to receive traffic for data to populate that report. Um, we'll have a lesson in the future on using the search query report to identify negatives, so come back soon and, and take a look for that. This is Kim Klinkenbrumer, Qualified Google Advertising Professional. I appreciate you coming and visiting with me today, and come back soon to learn more about AdWords.